Hello everyone, this is Gautam Ayer and I'll be demonstrating to you the closed loop configuration of the bug booster pack with F28377S Simulink model. So I hope you have already gone through uh, the open loop uh, configuration which I demonstrated on Simulink as well as the demo, the output demo uh, I had given it in the second video. So I would recommend to you uh, basically to go through both the videos for the open loop and then jump to the closed loop as it will make more sense uh, over here in closed loop uh, as you can see around 70% of the blocks are same it's just that uh, around 30% it's been rearrangement and some additional processing that takes place in closed loop so the difference between open loop and closed loop in general if we just jot down the points the only difference is in open loop uh, we for a particular v out reference we calculate a duty and then we feed the duty and we get the voltage output now the voltage output can differ with respect to the hardware we have hardware tolerances due to which there's a possibility that uh, the equation that we feed for different hardwares the output voltage can be different but with closed loop, the advantage that we have is uh, even if we give, even we have a huge hardware tolerances or small ones uh, due to which our voltage output voltage might differ. So what we do in closed loop is we take the feedback of this output voltage, we feed it to the error block, and then we try to again uh, alter the duty so that we can get the accurate uh, output voltage so that's what we are doing over here let me explain to you block by block so as you can see over here i've commented uh, uh, this v out ref this is a constant block basically over here as you can see uh, over here i'm having two options of first is i can have a constant v out ref at the same time uh, over here what i've enabled as of now is i'm taking reference through uh, the can so through can I can like for example let me show you this is my can mate so I can simply give over here a reference of over here 1818 is uh, decimal equivalent of 24 24 if when divided by 10 we get 2.4 so basically it's like we are trying to set 2.4 so it's like I'm giving a ref through can we have a control loop or uh, it's like it's a code basically that I've implemented so that we can try to regulate that voltage. So it's, it's basically it's a P and O algorithm and not a PI loop. Uh, you have an opportunity to design a PI loop over there, or else uh, there are multiple blocks that you can uh, you can activate there. So basically, as of now, I've used a MATLAB function. Uh, which is a P and O kind of an algorithm and hence you can see the output hunting uh, which you'll be able to see in the output demo in the second video uh, so basically we have this control loop and then uh, this is uh, the PWM duty that we feed to, to the PWM module so over here when you can see uh, the ADC INA3 which is the ADC uh, for the V out so from the V out, we get the feedback and then we pass it to the error. So what happens over here is like our can input would be a can uh, input would be uh, a V out of around 2.4, for example. Uh, so if we set a reference of 2.4 and my ADC is reading around 2.3, I have an error of 0.1. So this is what is fed to the control loop. And this loop tries to adjust the duty in such a way that we get 2.4 exactly and not 2.3. So, so basically this is what happens over here. It tries to compensate for the error generated. So rest all the blocks as you can see it's same as that of the open loop configuration. So for those blocks explanation you can go through the open loop video. Uh, and uh, do go through the demo output. Uh, for the closed loop configuration in the next video. Thank you.